Oh. Look back and see. Behind you. Look back. Look back. And I'm see. not. My back is to the wall. Behind. Behind. I'm not turning around, Look bro. Look back and see. Behind you. Nope. Look back and nope. See. Look I'm back. not doing it. Behind. There's a wall behind me. Look back and see. There's a wall behind me. I'm not the kind of guy to look behind me. It's just not me. <laughs> Something deeply disturbing happened in this apartment. Hello guys and welcome. My name is Burrito, I play horror games, I hate puzzles, and I really love my wife. And today, I welcome you to 209. This is a new game that just came out today developed and published by Kanegon Games. The Steam description reads, You are locked in a quiet apartment room. The only way out of the tightly closed door is to get the truth of the case. Overcome your fear and try to escape. I hope you guys enjoy this exploratory horror style game. Says it's gonna take about somewhere between an hour to two hours, so we'll see. And here we are. All right, what's over here? We've got uh, facial tissues, a purse. Hey, that's us, hello. And in the description, I think it says we can open drawers. Okay, so we can open drawers, look around inside. Okay, so we just click once to open and close something. Clothes. Anything here? Are there any other keys? What does E do? Does E do anything? F? No flashlight. Tab. Oh, okay. So we can actually go outside. I, oh, so it's the entire apartment that we just can't leave. And close the lights. Raining outside. Flowers. What about here? Anything in here? How interactive can we get? Can we move clothes? Can we take these boxes up here? What about in here? Can we open these? Luggage? No. Open these? Alright, okay. So we can open these. We can look for books. Can we read books? Open these books? No. Oh, what was that? Kind of glitchy there for a minute. Yeah, so I don't think I've ever played a... Or at least I don't remember playing specifically an exploratory type game where, I guess, interaction is kind of the main gig here. Alright, let's go outside. This is actually a pretty decent apartment. The bodies of oh. a family were found in room 209 what? late last week. According to the police officer who received the call, the son was submerged in the bathtub in the bathroom and the mother had been hanged in the bedroom. The father was found in his study with a gunshot wound to the back of the head. Based on the condition of all the bodies, it is highly likely that this was another murder, and the investigation continues. In addition, the family's sister is still missing and is believed to be closely related to the case, and police are seeking information. So is it... Who am I? Am I the sister? What's going on here? Can we move paintings? Pictures? I'm clicking every- I'm, ta I'm trying to tap everything. I'm trying to touch everything here. More- more tissues. There's a lot of tissues in this house. Can we open this? Seems like the sister is the main suspect. Can we turn on the stove? Can we cook something? Oh, we can open this. But again, maybe it's not even the sister who did it. Who knows? I don't know if opening every single thing is gonna do anything for us, so... I don't think I'll open every little thing. Just a few things here and there to check. Is there food in the fridge? We got beer. Okay, we'll close that. Let's go ahead and check things out. This is a big apartment. There's more rooms there that we can go to. Check this bedroom here. More tissues. Another laptop. Books.
And this is a very simple game, I think. Like, there are- OH HOLY GOD WHAT THE FUCK! As I was saying, um, there's no, uh, like, if you go to the menu, there's no options menu. So... Huh. Close this. I like how minimalist, everything's so sleek here. This is really nice decor. I like the... The art direction that they went with this room when they made this room here. Carpet's a nice touch here. Or this rug. Yeah. Oh, there's a bag here. Can we touch the bag? Alright, so nothing in that room. Anything here in this room yet? Nope, nothing. Let's check this room over here. Oh, somebody's study, their streaming room. I like it. Got a nice room here. Another cup of coffee, but nobody here to drink it. And we got more tissues here. I was like, what's this clicking? It's this Big Ben clock. And there's a cup of coffee here, too. I'm wondering why there's so much coffee around. Like, I, I like coffee. But I don't have, like, two separate cups all over the place. Separate rooms. And uh, this guy's got a lot of screwdrivers. Tools might just want to pick one. CDs. CDs? You guys remember burning music into these? I used to do that when I was a kid. Take these blank CDs and burn music into them. Alright, anything in here? No. Did I just hear a knocking? I just heard knocking, but I don't want to turn around. Okay. I'm pretty sure I heard knocking. That's crazy. And just listen to the atmosphere. It's eerily quiet in here. You can hear every creak. You can hear the rain outside. Can we turn on the PC? What about the TV? No, TV can't turn on. None of that. Is that a wireless keyboard? Respect, bro. I actually have a wireless keyboard too. It's a Logitech. All right. Exploring over here. Is this the bathroom? Seems like a good place for a bathroom. Laundry room. Anything in there? Hello. Left, right, left, right, left. <laughs> um, let's go here. This is the bathroom. Nice portrait. Painting picture. This uh, toilet needs to get clean. I'll have the cleaner come through and clean that later. And this is the bathtub where our kid, or the kid, was found drowned. And we're missing pictures from this picture frame. Are we supposed to find the torn pages? Got more tools here. They really got to figure out a way to organize everything here because we have tools over there. We've got tools here. Complete disorganization. All right. I just got the chills. I just got the chills walking in here. All right. I was waiting for something to pop up. But that did not happen. I mean, what are we, what exactly are we looking for? We have uh, medical supplies here. Clocks. Seems to be clocks all over the place. Nothing in there. I don't think this is an apartment. This seems like a like an actual house. It's a nice house. 
And this seems to be... Or maybe it is an apartment. It's just a big apartment. Okay, so we're not leaving the apartment until we find something. We just don't know what exactly it is that we're looking for. I mean, what are we looking for? Can we flush the toilet? We weren't really given a a quest or a sense of direction or anything, so... Can we call anybody? I'm gonna go back in here, because this is where we saw... Oh! Wait! What's this? It's a piece of the picture! Piece of the photograph! We, we take that... Can we take this with us? How do we take it? Do we take the portrait over here? How do we... How do we click and carry things? They should have um, instructions, like a hotkey guide or something. Yeah, so I have no idea what to do with um, this photo here. On Steam, it says that if you see something uh, to inspect it, but I don't know what else to do with it after I inspect it. Like, I, I can't, I pushed all of these buttons and it's not letting me do anything with the picture. I, I'm assuming we were supposed to bring it back and put it over here, but. Nothing happens when I try to click or, or anything, so I don't know. Let's keep exploring over this way. Maybe something new will pop up. Oh! Blood. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Oh! Hello? Hi. I'm gonna leave and call for help. Oh! Oh! Well, that was not too bad. Well, what happened to the state of this apartment? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't expect that. Now, notice how the apartment seems to be worse for wear now. Interesting. So that repeats. He was submerged in the bathroom tub. His dream was to be an astronaut, and he had feelings for his classmate Jessica. The sensation of water in his lungs was terrifying, and not being able to breathe was painful. It hurt to have the tendons in his arms and legs cut, and it felt so miserable to struggle to not have any strength. Something deeply disturbing happened in this apartment. The picture is gone. Open this. Other side? Nothing. Okay, things are getting unhinged here. For a while I was just kind of looking around trying to see if... Uh, Anything was going to happen, and I, I got what I asked for just now. I mean, that boy popping out of the floor like that was just... Completely unexpected and creepy. And the way he was just, like, groaning and making weird noises the whole time he was in here was just... Insane. And now we see that the picture of the boy is there. I think we need to find the picture of... Oh! Can this be shown on YouTube? Hello? Are you okay? I'm 
trying to click you. Echo? Pressing E, nothing is happening. And that's, uh... Maybe we gotta find and inspect the photo. Does she have a photo on her? Maybe she's got it on her. Maybe it's in one of these things. I'm assuming it would be close by. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's on the desk. That actually kind of scared me a little bit. I chills up my spine. On the bed, perhaps? Oh, here, yes, perfect. Oh! I heard something move. I'm just gonna check the mirror, and everything will be okay. Okay, she's gone. She's not hanging out there anymore. Oh, okay, so she's not behind me. Well, I mean, if she could free herself this whole time, what was she even doing? Hello? I'm assuming you're my sister? I'm assuming I'm the sister. What are you doing? Oh my god. Oh god. Ah! No, no, no! No, no! No, no! No, no, no! I'm running. I'm trying to run. Oh! Ah, ah! This place got even worse. Even more so dilapidated than before. Where'd she go? Hey, sis? You there? Hello? Okay, so I walked around the apartment twice. And nothing yet. Oh. It's weird, I walked in here twice. Put my back to the corner here. Strict mother, but her love for her family was deeper than anyone else's. It was precisely because she was such a person that she was horrified when she saw her son's body. From the look on her son's face, it was easy to imagine how horrified he must have been. That is why she did not notice the figure behind her until the noose was placed around his neck. So somebody put the noose around her neck. I guess the mystery is, who did it? Who done it? Can we leave? Turn on the light, maybe? No? This is gonna pop up, isn't it? Oh, I didn't know I could do that. We turn on the TV, or the PC, drink some coffee. What are we doing here? It's not letting me sit. Anything in here? Okay, what are we supposed to do? If I can't exit. Oh. Look back and see. Behind you. Look back. Look back. And see. I'm not. My back is to the wall. Behind. Behind. I'm not turning around, Look bro. Look back and see. Behind you. Nope. Back nope. Back and nope. And see. I'm not doing it. Behind. There's a wall behind me. Look back. Look back and see. There's a wall behind me. I'm not the kind of guy to look behind me. It's just not me. The game really said, I don't care if you don't turn around. I'm still coming for you. Okay. Well. Now this is closed off. Even... Even more so than before, this place is even further 
dilapidated. Now we see more cracks in the paint and the walls and whatever this is on the floor. We have the son, the mom. We found a gun. We found the murder weapon. We're trying here again. Nothing. That was so loud. And this doesn't open. Like, that legitimately scared me. I just wasn't expecting it. Hello? Oh. Wow, this is pretty graphic. But then again, how did the blood splatter over here and over there and over there and over there with just one shot? Up there too, it just seems like it's all over the place. I mean, it's just the game. We're not gonna, and over here as well. I just, I'd like to know, and some here as well. It's just all over the place. It's more like a vampire came through here and did some stuff. So I'm assuming we have to find a picture here. There it is. I found it. That's the dad, and now the picture's almost complete. The bodies of a family were found in room 209 late last week. According to the police officer who received... He was working over coffee. He worked that way every day for his family, but he did not know that day that his coffee contained sleeping pills. He did not know that that sleep would cost him his family or that he would be shot with the gun he had to protect him. That's messed up. In addition, the family's sister is still missing and is believed to be closely related to the case, and police are seeking information. But then again, like, how heavy do the, would those coffee pills have to... Like, how strong are these coffee pills? You know what I mean? To be able to knock somebody out like that. I, I wouldn't know. I I've never been drugged. Oh! Just walk through walls. Oh! Dude, this is completely unhinged. What does this even mean? Who are you? What do you want? Oh, there are multiple eyes. It's like somebody activated their domain expansion over my apartment. Okay. And there's blood here, too. Oh, look at this. What is that? What's that noise? Oh! Hey, man. It's like he's stuck in this endless loop of being shot over and over and over again. Why? I don't understand. Like, why would somebody want to do that? What did you guys do? Hey, man. These guys. Ah! <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, now we're red dead, but no redemption. The eyes watch us. The bodies of a family were found in room 209 late last week. According to the police officer who received the call, the son was submerged in the bathtub in the bathroom and the mother had been hanged in the bedroom. The father was found in his study with a gunshot wound to the back of the head. 
Based on the condition of all the bodies, it is highly likely that this was another murder, and the investigation continues. In addition, the family's sister is still missing and is believed to be closely related to the case, and police are seeking information. The jump scares, they like wait until you're in that split second of like being unexpecting. And then they hit you with the jump scare, which is insane. And there's hands here. There are, oh, what the? Bro, I'm sweating. This has probably one of the best jump scares that I've had in a really long time. What was that? Sound like something shifted or moved. Okay, so we checked in there. Nothing in there. And, oh, there's another, there's another arm. So I found one there, one there. Is that our thing now? We're just looking for arms, body parts? It's so dimly lit too, I need I need a flashlight. Whew. Just like waiting, expecting a jump scare now. But they always get me in like the last, like when I least expect it. And I love it, I love the timing. The timing is perfect. It's like the, the developers thought about when people would be most at their relaxed, letting their guard down. Which is, you know, perfectly planned, because oftentimes is once you see something scary, you let your guard down. Or like, even if you see something that's a little bit scary, you let your guard down for a second. And then that split second, before you even turn around, is when they hit you with a jump scare. And that's always really good. Well-timed, well-timed. Oh, right there! Yep, cool, cool, cool. See, I immensely prepared myself for that one. Yeah, so I'm at a loss here. Kind of just been walking around for about 40 minutes now. What's this? What was that? Oh, it's a head on the ceiling. Dear God, oh! Really? Was that, like, the thing that we needed to find? A head on the ceiling? I mean, come on, you know what I mean? And so now we found a picture. I mean, that, that that head was so well hidden. You were hired by this family to be their housekeeper. They treated you kindly. You and the eldest daughter were close in age and appearance. Why did you kill them? What did it feel like to live with them? So different from your own family. So happy. Where is the sister of the family? So, that's what I... I'm the housekeeper? I haven't been doing a good job. This place is dirty still. Okay, all this crying. So now that I've arrived at the truth, can I leave? Oh, hello? What's to the right of me? What is that? Is that me? That's me. That's me. Oh, oh, what the? F what is that? Hello? That thing came in like a wrecking ball. Dude, what the? What the? Heck? Oh my god. It's got my picture. It she is not the fault of this family that your child was not born. She sacrificed in my place? What do you mean? I'm the housekeeper. I killed these people. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, now what? Totally caught me by surprise there. Alright, so we're still here. But now what? Is the picture completed? You were killed many times and woke up in the same bed. How many times do I have to repeat it? Can we leave now? Oh, it looks like we can't leave. Oh. I guess we can't leave. Completed the family photo. Why can't I leave? Am I trapped in my own hell? Is this my punishment for what I've done? Forced to repeat death? Dying? Over and over again? What's this? Body bags? Am I supposed to do anything? There's roaches all over the wall now. Oh, what is this? What difference did they and I have? They were born into a happy family, and I was born into a family riddled with abuse and violence. I mean, it's not this family's fault. Was she just, like, jelly? Am I supposed to do something here now, or... I can't leave. Is there anything in here? Oh, what's this? Evidence. So we found a gun, we found a body bag. I guess we gotta find... Oh, why couldn't I have what they had from the beginning? No matter how hard I tried, I should have been able to escape from that room and start anew. Was I trapped in the room? What's this? Is that a... What is that? Oh, it's the noose. But what is that? Okay, maybe there's new words back at the uh, wall over here. I hear her voice. It's stuck in my eardrums and won't leave. This is not the same room as 209. Not the same room. Not the same room as 209. I killed the father, the mother, and the son, and I framed the sister. Dude, seriously? What the hell are you doing there? Just popped up where I was. He wanted some pizza. Or a beer. Got some old eggs in there. Oh! What's going on? Hello? Hello? Oh, is it? Is it the TV? What was that? Kind of just activated out of nowhere, and then now nothing's happening. So I just noticed wherever there's cockroaches on the wall, that's where the evidence is. So maybe if I pay attention to where the cockroaches are on the wall, I'll find more evidence. Like here. I see cockroaches on the wall over here. So I'm seeing here, but okay. All right. I think I was onto something there. Yeah, the cockroaches kind of show you where where to go in a way, right? Because like here, you can see there's cockroaches on the wall here. Evidence right there. 
over there. You saw the cockroaches over here. Evidence right there. And now we found the mule. Oh! Found the mirror. Here's the fourth thing. I'm sorry. Please be quiet. I'll give her to you instead, but you can't take me away. Please be quiet. I'll give her to you instead, but you can't take me away. What do you mean? What is going on? Where do Let's go this way. And this is blocked off. Then we'll go this way. Escape from 209. Regarding the family murders that occurred last week, the missing sister has been found. She was debilitated when she was found and her statement indicated that she had lost part of her memory. Police are still searching for the murderer. According to the police, the murderer is believed to be the same person, as similar murders have occurred frequently in the state, all of them in room 209. My theory is there was like a housekeeper, a girl probably, who was locked for a good portion of her life in room 209 that created a killer out of her. And now she does the same thing to other people, other families in room 209. I thought it was a good game. I thought it probably had like some of the best jump scares that I've experienced in quite some time, like perfectly timed jump scares. But like the biggest issue that I had was it was so difficult to find certain things, almost to a ridiculous level. Unless you're that guy who just likes those challenges, then I kind of understand that. Like, I, I kind of understand some of the other places, but the head all the way up in the ceiling in the dark is kind of unreasonable, I think. And I, I still had fun with it. For, you know, it's cheap thrills. I enjoyed it. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.